Good morning all. Uh, it's Sunday the 11th of August now. Uh, it's been quite a while since I've actually been up the allotment. Um, had quite a lot going on really. We've uh, worked from Manic, I've had family visiting from aboard and I've actually had a tooth removed as well. What was quite bad so I haven't been up here. I've been up here but not enough to record like I harvested my potatoes um, and stuff like that but I'm on my way up there now. Just gonna have a check on it really, see how it's going. As you saw, got some plums from Dave's plot. He was nice enough to leave um, them out and messaged everyone to say you can grab some if you want. So I've got two. I'm gonna eat one now on the way up and one on the way back. Um, peaky little, little uh, selfie with the, the move my head. Two scarecrows. Um, a lot of the allotment owners along here are doing scarecrows uh, for sort of like the kids as it's all along one path but I haven't had a chance to do mine yet um, I've got ideas not don't want to say anything as of yet because I don't want to spoil it uh, but I got to see if I can get hold of some stuff and then I'll make my scarecrow I'll do it on camera for you guys so you can see but that's it and I'll see you up the allotment in a minute uh, okay guys so we're up the allotment now um, I haven't been up here in quite a while so it's quite overgrown um, but that's my plan for today I'm actually going to come up here and I'm going to try and get rid of this mare's tail. Um, I found this product online, uh, I'll get it out now and show you. Okay, it's called uh, Cure Tail Evo. Uh, bring that in, you might be able to just uh, catch it on the camera. Um, it's from a company called ProGreen. Um, ProGreen, not good at UK. Uh, it's regarded as one of the best weed killers for killing mare's tail or horse's tail or whatever way you call it can't pronounce the latin name because it just it's too much um and too complicated for me but it's specially designed to kill it it's got to be diluted down and then sprayed um it's 25 mils of curatel evo to one liter of water to cover 50 square meters this is 100 square meters this plot um so i'm probably gonna have to double up I'm doing, yeah, 100 square meters to a litre. So I'm doing, I'm doing a five litre bottle. I'm going to pretty much cover the plot as much as I can because I want to try and get rid of the mare's tail, get rid of everything else as well. So I've got a clean slate to start next year. Um, I'll take you around the plot in a minute and show you, but it's started to grow through my greenhouse base that I made, uh, while well, the soil at the bottom anyway, where I wanted to try and grow stuff in. So if I can get rid of that, that'd be great. Also, out the front of my allotment, it's very, very overgrown now. So I want to try and see what can go from there. Um, I have read that you can see results within 12 to 24 hours. So I'll spray it. Hopefully it's not going to rain. This is supposed to be one of the driest days for the next week. Um, and it takes. And then I'll come up tomorrow and I'll check and I'll give you an update, guys. Um, if this stuff really does work, uh, I will be lending it to a few friends um, or another allotment owners up the road because the mare's tail here is quite bad it's even grown underneath the path just outside and gone into my neighbor's garden so that's it um i'll take you around the plot now and show you how overgrown we've got okay so as you can see this section has got hugely overgrown um we walk across towards my greenhouse you can already see that the mare's tail is literally growing all the way through it but I'm going to spray it and hopefully get rid of all that. It's also gone really wild out here as well. I did cut this all back last August when I got the allotment. Um, I didn't realise it was mare's tail at first. I should have treated it straight away, but I didn't. This section here I'm all going to cover as well. Um, I'm literally just pretty much going to spray the whole plot, try and kill everything I can. Uh, it goes all the way up to the back, around the back here as well, and all over this section. I work my way through it. Yeah, it's growing through the mud hurled as well. And it's also down the back of the greenhouse. If we go back of the uh, shed, I mean, if I walk over the top of there, you can see what I mean. It's actually growing down the back of there as well. And I'll take you out the front and show you out the front now. So, as you can see, it's covered out the front here as well. And hopefully we're going to get it all treated.
Okay, so that's all of it mixed now. Um, hopefully my dilution's right, but I'm gonna give the plot a spray. Hopefully it'll kill it within 24 hours. I know you've got to leave it for about a month or so, really. Um, so probably most of my next videos won't actually be up the allotment. It'll be more um, at home with some of the stuff I'm growing at home. So I've got potatoes in at home ready for Christmas. I've got a courgette plant I was given and I've got some chilies. But I want to try and get this plot cleared as much as I physically can um, in the sense of weeds and grass and everything else so that I've got more of a fresh starting point. So we're just going to have to see how it goes.
Okay, so uh, I've sprayed the whole plot now, as you can probably see from that little sort of cut and edit and time, time lapse. I hope it works. The I wish you'd spray it and you'd see it con like working straight away, um, but I know it doesn't work like that. So I'm going to end today's episode here, guys. Um, I might, on the way back, snap a few shots of the scarecrows that people have put up and then put them onto the end of the video so you can see because um, I know some of you people who watch this don't live local and the ones who do live local try and come along and have a look at the scarecrows they are pretty cool uh, hopefully I'll be putting mine up soon but that's today done guys hope you enjoyed the video fingers crossed it works if it does I'll give you an update tomorrow if it doesn't I'll give you an update anyway just to let you know how it goes um, so that's it today fingers crossed it works and I'll see you again next time Okay people, so I've just got home from the allotment. Um, unfortunately it's just started raining as I got through the door, so it's probably gonna wash away all the weed killer I've put on. Um, it was worth a try putting it on. Hopefully it's not gonna rain for too long. If it does, it does, it doesn't, it doesn't. There's nothing I can do about that, it's the weather. Uh, the forecast only said 10%, but obviously it wanted to rain quite heavy. So I'm gonna pop up there tomorrow after work, check it, see if any of it's taken, see if any of it, if not, I'll have to respray again tomorrow, because hopefully It'll be dry tomorrow. We'll just have to wait and see. So that's it, guys. See you again next time.